Imagine the simple things like holding a coffee cup or even eating becoming next to impossible. That's what many diagnosed with Parkinson's deal with on a daily basis. Now a new procedure called deep brain stimulation is bringing sweet relief to so many. In tonight's Health Matters reports, Claire Kreitz shows us how it's become a game changer for those with the disease. Morning. Morning, sir. How you doing? Fine, sir. Dressed to the nines, you can tell just by looking at him, Rick P. Bradley has lived quite the life. I would say normal, as far as normalcy is concerned. From being in and out of foster care until the age of nine. Never really went to school. So I was nine years old when I was adopted. Nine years old in the first grade, yet I still graduated high school at age 18. To continuing that education while serving his country for more than two decades. 26 years in the Navy Marine Corps, but uh, I went on to earn five masters and two doctorates. But just as life goes, suddenly Bradley hit a roadblock. It's aggravating. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's and dealt with tremors like this every single day. I had gotten to a point that I was being awakened at night by my tremors. I couldn't drive. I couldn't write. That not only impacted his physical health, but took a toll on his mental health too. There were some mornings, instead of saying, good morning, God, I would say, good God, this morning. Because Parkinson's had gotten so bad. When all hope seemed lost, Bradley came here to Baptist Health in North Little Rock. Neurosurgeon Dr. Dia Baggett thought he might have just the solution. This is deep brain stimulation. What it is, we implant a electrode into a patient's brain. We pick up specific targets depending on the condition or the disease that we want to treat. That electrode or cable is then hooked up to a battery that sends an electric signal to that part of the brain to stimulate it. It disrupts the cycle within that area and modifies the way it functions and that affects the disease process that's involved. After going through several tests, Brownlee got the green light for the surgery. And I'm not putting on. And the difference. And turn it on. You might feel a shock. Is truly remarkable. Yeah, there it is. It love it out, Doc. Let's do this again. Hold it to your mouth. It's amazing. The smile radiating from Bradley shows just how much this surgery changed his life. This is my new friend. Thank you. Thank you. Now he hopes his story will inspire others to seek help too. God has places with good people who know what they're doing. Just ask.